Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, yeah, I can't find a bear anywhere around here. You know, that's kind of not cool if you ask me. So, I don't know. Oh, that's the one with the arrow. Okay, I don't know. Maybe there's just a hidden room somewhere around here. Maybe it is inside. I don't really know. I think I want to go back to my camp, though, and rest. Um, I need my spell charges for some of these fights. Like, especially with her. She, she has the spell charges. Like, where, where is it? Like, this spiritual weapon thing is actually pretty dope to have in combat. So I would like to be able to use it. Not as bad as it could have. Uh, yeah, I also want to talk to the party members, because I haven't really Soldier. talked to too many people. I've talked to some, like Garlack here, who's all tapped out. Don't waste a step. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're playing with your little bauble? Something the matter. Is it like a Rubik's Cube artifact? It seems to be protecting us. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Nice crows and skulls. Uh, having to protect us, how did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate. Yeah? No matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. Yeah. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. Not really, but you do you, I guess. Um, how can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? Blind duty, spoken like a true pawn. I mean, yeah. Actual, ab admiral conviction, though, I prefer to know what I'm getting myself to. How can you go through all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, Oh, right, you I wanted to talk about Char's belief at camp, yeah? Uh, how honest do I want to get with you, to be quite honest? Yeah, I know, right? It's like, uh, do, do I want to tell you that you're just the pawn? I'm not very understanding of other people's beliefs. Well, but she is just a pawn. You literally, literally, like, literally, in, don't make that face at me. Like, you literally had every memory of yours taken right now to do someone else's bidding. That is like a definition of a pawn. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie. So I know at some point there'll probably be a case where I'm probably going to lose some party members, right? Generally speaking, if it's anything like any other game, there'll be decisions you make branching paths that you'll take where some party members aren't going to like it and you might end up having to fight them or lose them or maybe even just <laughs> making a dice roll check where they stay. I don't know. Uh, I kind of assumed based on the intro that, uh, well, the character introductions looking at uh, Shadowheart here and Lizelle, I'm like, okay, probably going to come the blow with these two. <laughs> if she keeps making a face at me, we're still going to go with blows now. Like, uh, my nature and blind, well, loyalty, I guess you can call it, being a pawn, don't really mesh too, too well. Now, I, I try not to shit on other people's beliefs in general, unless they start trying to, you know, be a zealot about it. Then, you know, here we go. But she hasn't really done that so I don't want to shit on her too bad I don't know also is your arm fusing into your boob right now that looks uncomfortable I mean if, if we're gonna be building some trust and honesty with each other here I mean I should just be honest with her Blind duty, that's spoken like a true pawn. You're not gonna like it. I already know you're not. They tend to get sacrificed first, you know. That's true. How cynical. I should borrow that line sometime. But if I have to die, so be it. Like I said, 
Faith. All right, let's drop the matter then. Uh, why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Uh, so you knew more than you were letting on. I hope you'll be more honest in the future. So why would, why would Shah subject you? What causes it to hurt you? How do you can manage to live? Why would she do that to you? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Yes, it would. Lady Shah has her reasons. Yeah, maybe her reasons are shit. Oh, it causes it to hurt you. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. Yeah, it usually it's rain for me and my knee. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Um... Anything I can do to help? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. You know, that look on your face Pain is telling me is you are horrified beyond belief. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal Didn't I just darkness. get whipped or actually beaten with a mace for... I thought that was the other goddess. So long as it has meaning. I need a bath. Um... I hope you'll be more honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. You actually look horrified. Are you actually all right? Uh... I want to talk about your worship. I want to know more about you, Shadowheart. She doesn't have her memories, right? Sure. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? I don't know. What's your favorite meal? Uh, tell me things about you besides her, besides the tadpole. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Yeah? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. You want to learn to swim? Is that the sort of thing you meant? Uh, you've flown between planes of existence, but you've never been swimming? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to- No, I'm not just making small talk, lady! No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. That's a bit extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Okie dokie, uh, Shah worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Uh, I have no problem with Shaw Worshippers. I trust me, we're in the same bowl after all. Uh, what is my plus two? I feel like this is gonna fail horribly. Let's just do it. Ten. Oh, that's failed horribly. <laughs> uh, roll again, because I'm at four. <laughs> okay, it's much better. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Nope. Um. Honestly, your face, I won't judge one way or another. That's not true. I will judge you horribly. Maybe quietly, depending on how good you are in combat, but still horribly. 
Uh, she doesn't sound very appealing going by her titles. The night brings comfort. Through loss, we find acceptance. In the arms of the Dark Mother, we find peace. Wait, is that the Sith code? Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, so, one second. Where's my phone? Through loss, we... Is that, is that, or is that Grey Jedi? Through loss... Uh, Jedi code... Fear of loss. No, 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 no. Those are just Star Wars. Um, there, there is. It's not the. It's not the Sith code. There is some code where it's through loss. Uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I feel like I heard it in a Star Wars game once. I don't quite understand. There has to be something more that draws people to Shar. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. There's but just Shar Batman in the corner. Step beyond Are you Batman? Beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. Um. Yeah, it sounds daunting. Give it time and thought. No. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they You create, literally worship one of those gods! Armies, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Okay, so you're a hypocrite? And it does kind of, kind of sound vaguely evil. Well, if that troubles you, perhaps you should fetch the bailiff to arrest me. Ah, but there's no bailiff here, is there? Just leagues of wilderness and the dangers lurking within. We're in this together. But I'll happily go it alone. My faith will keep me company. Yeah, to the better end, probably. Um, uh, all that have to us? Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up? I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. <laughs> Kindred spirits. Have I mean, I just didn't get dis disproval from you, but sure. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. That's true. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Worship me, like the goddess I am. All right, so you're done for now. I'm assuming there'll be more. Uh, Asterion, last time I talked to you, we didn't have anything. You're kind of like Karlag, where you just had nothing. Yes. Oh, well, tell me more about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's in the city. The in the city. All right, I guess that's it. Maeve is inspired, apparently. Okay. Sure. Well, I got back the one I just used. Oh, that's right. I'm. <laughs> I was just about to say, my God, everyone is so tiny. You drawing your weapons on me? Really? You want to go? You have one HP, girl. I'm pretty sure I could take you. You're lucky. Speak. Um. Are you sure the K uh, quiche? It's not quiche, is it? It's Gesh. Entirely. It's the only cure. I was as devoted to. My I mean, if it is a quiche, that'd be pretty children. great. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Uh, that kind of wisdom is valuable, I guess. The books are fallible sometimes. It really depends on who's writing them. 
That kind of wisdom is valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so I gotta talk to Gale, because he has that, that, chaos, that sickness, right? Rage. The planes are ever quaking, and, and I was gonna find a bath. Shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Uh, you look unusual. I expect I am your first. No, no. Oh, you mean Githyanki? Yeah! I never heard of your kind. I know of Githyanki, but never met one. Sure. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. They would have died you trying. You are alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter Why them. are you getting so hostile towards that me? That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like My a nose stick. is cute as a goddamn fucking button, all right? What are you talking about? I don't have a freaking Voldemort nose going on. Yeah, thanks for noticing. It was an observation, not a compliment. Too bad. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. You're going to hurt your neck one of these doing that. Uh, you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed you, from every orifice. I, I should make you your a bard, because you are putting on a performance of a lifetime. Split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new oh flesh God. underneath. <laughs> Are you then Italian? You cease to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Uh, that sounds pretty bad. That's not gonna happen. We'll find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Uh, you worried we haven't changed? That's good news. Kind of. Volo was saying the same thing, right? Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Yeah, right. I'm going to go take a bath. Uh, do 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 do. Will, how's it going? Well met. Dark One's Blessing? Never mind, Will. Oh, I'll talk to you in a second. Gale! Regale me with your What's arcane your hunger. Mind? You look a bit unwell. What's with the lag here? Nothing but a bit ma magic can't solve? Did I click the button too fast? Are you computing, Gale? I'm going to press the space bar now, so hopefully I don't miss anything. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, is it contagious? No, We're no, a mask! Like that. Though if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Okay. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm gonna need more details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say- Yeah, everyone's we asking me to trust them on shit that I probably shouldn't trust them on. Since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted, it is time. And by that, I mean, it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. All right. Uh, what do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to ask. Are you about to ask me for my headband? There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Uh, uh, 
Gale, don't take this the wrong way, but if you take my headband, my, my tiara of wisdom shit, and you destroy it, consume it, whatever, I'm going to kill you and leave your body in a crate down by the river. I will say I'm going to help, but ask me for something that is not the tiara. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What happens to this item should I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Do I get a choice? Because I got many magic artifacts in my, on me right now. You're not just going to take my tiara of intellect, right? Okay, good. You can have... I bought this for money. No one's really gonna use it, so here you go, I guess. Yeah, this one. Donate. Thank you. Thank you for not just taking, like, my tiara. Because I would have punched your skull in and then put you in that barrel. Hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. Full beans. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Uh, well, glad you're feeling better, I guess. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Okay. Well, from now on, you can just go to a store and buy a green item on your own goddamn time. Um, this, that condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Alright, you got anything? Oh, you got. You literally have something else. Okay. Oh. That hit the spot. I know, you just said that. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like. You a literally just that said that. A metaphorical deal. Yes. I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again. What? It's not sincerely, though. I understand, I ask. A I obtained it. Go ahead. I'm listening. I don't know. I was wondering if that can issue is why it require magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor. Isn't that more a invasion. warlock thing? As long as I pay, there will be peace. No, I guess wizards Should and sorcerers do sell their souls sometimes for shit like that. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Alright, bye. I go talk to Volo now? Hey Smithers, how's it going? Where is he? He's over here. Volo, what is your class? You a bard? No, you just you get no class. You're just a level three guy. I'm assuming. Ah, my good fellow. It's been a little I'm while. The set up you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Has your research turned up anything that might help? Not yet, I'm afraid. Yeah, I was gonna say, because we actually haven't really done anything. Very, very high. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna rest. I do want to swap out party members time and time again. Um, that might require me respecting some people, right? Because I'm, I'm gonna want a cleric in my party. While we haven't taken too many times, like, or taken the healing, 
uh, made its uses out of healing that often. It is still very valuable to have. I'm gonna want some uh, another melee fighter beside myself. So Lazelle or Carla, um, though. I don't know if I would, I guess Gale and Will can swap with each other if we have them in the party, but I don't know if I want to swap out Lazelle and Harlack. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and sleep, because I want what spell charges I can get back, and healing. Uh, sure. Oh, what's wrong? What's going on? Why am I tumbling? Am I drunk? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Uh, blink, uh, swipe the sweat from your brow, I guess? Rub your aching hands? Eh, yeah, wipe the sweat from your brow. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Oh no! Your head remains drenched. No Did we have Taco Bell? Try it, I will destroy you. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. Maeve, give her be quick a purple nurple. First you. Then the others. Then myself. How about you Your start with yourself? Twine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. Uh, explore a mind? I feel like she's not going to like that. You have not become a deception. You know what? Fuck it. Explore her mind! Only a two? Lazelle, <laughs> you need better intellect. Good thing we had an advantage. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The oh, for inferiority complex? Lazelle. Yeah, people get that a lot when they name me. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown. To the great lich queen. Oh, can she make me a lich? You will please your queen. Just go fuck, you know exactly what to say to me. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this I am watching. If the sickness yeah, does well, not I mean, next time I'm just gonna dawn, punch you through the heart. End us all. Hello? Hello? I came just in time. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are transformed. You're that guardian lady I made. I was wondering what the fuck was happening there. Nice armor. Uh, I have apparently heard your voice before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. H have you? Oh, okay. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. Cool, can you tell uh, Toadette I'll over there that? You. So she doesn't try to stab us in our sleeps? Um. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to recoil from any help. I am. You know, don't get me. Don't take this the wrong way. I've been wronged a lot in my path, past, but, like, I don't really fucking trust you. <laughs> 
dream visitor, quote unquote. So I'm just gonna get up on my own. Independent. Good. I am an independent woman. We haven't much time, so listen closely. Stay a while and listen. I need better clothes. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Oh, okay, so you are you are not a good person. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Okay, so you are a mind flayer? Is that is that it? Uh, well, uh, like a, a not a mind flayer, but like what? Uh, a magic projection of a mind flare trying to convince me to become a mind flare. Is that, what's, is that what's going on, Dream Lady? Why'd I make you? A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. Oh, that's not a creepy look at all. Is that Johnny Storm? I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Okay. I didn't know you were the Terminator as well. It's an eventful night apparently here at uh, Camp Mave. I promise. The puppy's here! Yo, oh, wait, we have a potion. Uh no, we do not have a potion. Do we not have a potion of speak to animals? This is mine reading. Uh we have a scroll? I thought we had something with speaking with animals. Gale can absorb. Well, Gale can fucking wait. How about that? I mean, I may as well not speak the undead. Bark skin would be good, right? I mean, not really. It's only one point. Um. Oh well. Uh, scratch. Maybe I should save. <laughs> Just in case. Come here, Scratch. How's it going, buddy? Pet him. Everyone approves of that. Good. Well, not everyone, but most people. I do need to get a thing of animal talk. Oh, oh no, they were selling that in the store, weren't they? I think it was a scroll of animal talking. Yeah. Oh, this gives me heroism. Interesting. Aid? That's not too bad. I mean, I guess technically... The wearer bears the Absolute's brand. They have the advantage on death saving throws. I guess that's better than nothing, right? And I get aid, which heals me, increasing my hit points by five. Which I guess I'll just use now. Oh, I thought that was a temporary HP, but sure. Can I take that off now? Or do I lose that? I'm not going to take it off right now, because it's actually better than what I had. But where is the chest of shit that I put in? Over there. I'm gonna drop off some stuff. <sighs> okay, so we talked to everyone in camp. We now have a dog here, which is pretty great. Oh, that's right. I put the brains in here. Uh, items. We don't need that. 
And I do want to talk to him. I can only remember where the hell that I saw that. Maybe it was a scroll. Maybe I taught it to Gale. Speak with dead. I might have taught it to Gale. Shit. Uh, all right. Well, got scroll of featherfall. That's pretty nice. If I ever need to make a huge jump or something. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to the goblin camp and talk to you. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Okay. You continue. I could have died in that pod back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Oh, are you gonna give me a Wookiee life debt? I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few. Are you my have. Chewbacca? I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. At least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. Okay, that doesn't sound good. There's scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. How about we take to the head of her church? To become the dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers Wait, what? and win the final battle to restore her power. Isn't that what we're looking? That's Endless one of the quests darkness. we have, right? Night Singer? That's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not. Yeah, worthy. mommy issues. Not my mother, mother, I should add. Oh, okay. The mother superior. So you have not mother Lady issues. Lady in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. Maybe she cares about you? Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, that chicken's still running around, huh? Was it you who had the thing I'm looking for? Yeah, get your drink on. I got stuck. I know. Let me see. I don't think you have gloves or archery, though. I could put that on someone. How much does that cost? 130? That's not too bad. Uh, let's go to your potions real fast. You do not have potions. You have potions. Never mind. Uh, no, you definitely don't have what I'm looking for. The gloves are Autry, though. I could give that to Lizelle. She does use a bow sometimes. Plus two damage is pretty good. 138? Yeah, okay, I'll buy that. We have the money. Get Why not? Moving. And I will go ahead and give this to you. Like it's will be done. Booyah. Alright, cool. Is that so blood? Now she has that. No. Never mind. Should find my step. Damage face. Where is this? This is This is new. Where's Oh, it's inside. <laughs> That's where that is. Let's go back inside. Here we go. That's where the other trader is. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're still looking for... Today was a lot of getting to know our friends episode. We, we didn't do it earlier, but we did it now. No, don't do that. Um, You guys haven't found her body yet, right? That's good. Hi, what are you doing down here? That the jingle of coin? Oh, yeah, I it is. Quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. Apparently, I've failed the history. Let me see your wares. Do you have... You have one of these. 
Roll flying. All right, never mind. I thought I saw it somewhere. I thought I had it. Pleasure. Yeah, I bet. All right. Well, um. This iron gate. So I don't want to go over there, okay? Because that's where that fight's gonna be. I guess I could talk to some people around here, but every time I talk to people, it's like, use your mind flayer powers? Black? Blackity clack. Something Don't come mind. back? If you're close enough to talk with me, then you're too damn close. Nice meeting you, Clack. Uh, rats? Squeak, squeak. What are you guys doing over here? You're not that strong. <laughs> Boss Ragslin weren't lying when he said anyone could join oh. the absolute Kick her over the edge. Rude. Um, okay. Gerd? Oh my gerd, it's gerd! This ain't the party, pal. We're working here. I know, that's why I'm trying to like interrupt you. I'm actually trying to see if you guys people. Uh, hello. Shh. Let's hope this gives us some answers. Silence. You'll interrupt the ritual. Are you a drow? Yeah. <laughs> a very weak drow. Ooh. Um, that looked like there was stuff in there. Should I go sit in his throne? Very tempting, to say the least. Um, oh, there's a ladder. What the fudge? One second. Is there a perception check over here? I feel like there's a perception check over here. Oh, no, there's just a... A door. A lot of treasure behind it. <laughs> really, Kronos? Yeah. There might be like a spell thing though. I'm just gonna call it a curve. 20? Oh no. That is not enough. We only, only, uh, we'll use an inspiration, I guess. We only need a 15. Go oh, an 18! No, no one saw that shit, huh? Oh, okay. Saloon's dream cantrip. I don't know what that means, but yes. Oh, <gasps> infernal iron, Carla, Carlac. Whatever the fuck your name is. Uh, the wearer gains advantage to melee rolls while surrounded by two mo. Okay. Uh, spring set boots, swift strides, when the wearer dashes or takes similar action, they get through momentum. Okay. 500 gold? They didn't see, they didn't hear that, did they? Y'all didn't hear that, did you? Should mind my step. Yeah, de definitely don't close the door on you. No, close the door. They, they can't know we were here. Get up. All right, new plan. He can't do anything. Never mind. I just remembered. <laughs> I just remembered he wants us to meet him in Boulder's Gate. All right, cool. Well, we didn't find the druid yet. But we found a bunch of treasure. Probably see if anyone's got use for that grease bottle. Yeah. All right, so... 
Strength saving throw. You know what, Carla? You're usually going to be in the mix of things. Um, I don't know what this does. It gives a cantrip of Saloon's Dream. I do lose the HP I put on. God damn it. Uh, it heals. It... Wait, it heals? But they possibly fall asleep. Oh, but... I can only use it once per long rest? Is that right? It's not a cantrip then, but sure. Everyone don't fall. Don't get too comfortable, you horrible Oh nice. I'm over here. Oh, there is a chest. Anything of use? There they are. Ooh, we got arrows. Personal talk relationship spike always makes them talk. Okay, where do you? Oh no, I already actually. How about I'll stop on you, eh? How would you like that? Spikes. Kinda, I kinda already freed that guy, did I not? But there's something over there too. Oh, sarcophagus. Okay. Um. I guess we'll just come back down here, I guess. So I lost the, the aid of the aid effect, right, when I took off that necklace. Does it come back if I put it back on? No. I'm not going to use the healing from this just yet, right? But it, it it's kind of a win. It's just a free healing for me. That is a spider. Boom shakalaka laka boom shakalaka. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth. So it looks like we found our new necromancer. Dude, you want to join? By Vlacketh's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga nan sukuk. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed. Hey, you can't see mine, do you? The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The Ooh. hobgoblin's eyes. Well, I don't know about no hungry. reward, but a great weapon sounds like something if it I want. Isn't another true soul. I'm the truest. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Okay. I got a necklace for this. Uh. Moving for the kill. Uh, study the corpse. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. Looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that Where's weapon. the looter camp? So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she uh... carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. <laughs> I just point to her. She has it. Uh, then let the ceremony proceed.
Um, it wasn't the. Uh, if it wasn't the one that knew me, then there's not a risk, right? But they might have known Shadowheart. But it also didn't have the weapon. The sh Shadowheart had. Shadowheart had the relic, the artifact, whatever you want to call it. It was next to her part. She had it when she woke up on the beach. So it wasn't. Let the ceremony you proceed. Choke on black smoke as the hog goblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse, speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call deck, Shulko Kank. Why are you casting a spell on my rises, dick? Tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and a questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Ooh. Dig into the mind. Guidance. Yes. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. Uh, what were you? Do what were you doing? What were you doing in Faerun? Raxlin scowls, shocked by his own words and a jolt shoots through your skull. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githyanki, they know something. He is suspicious, confused by the question that fell from his lips. You proceed carefully. Uh... Why were the Gith chasing the Why ship? Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a. Can we get a ship? I want a ship. Can I get a nautiloid? The, stars. the mind flayer ship, Chronos. Yeah, I know, but their beds were comfy. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Who killed you? It wasn't me, though. Who killed you? Another vision consumes you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh. Only darkness. Oh, come on! The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! You're done! Irritation eclipses his suspicions, and Ragslin's mind rests. Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! Eh, you can still make no a dinner out of it. No killer and no damned weapon. <sighs> that damned trial was right. Can't let her. Aren't you guys working together? Oh, yeah, well, you're evil, Seems of course. I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Uh, yeah, consider it done, I guess. He's the absolute. Yo, oh, hey, we leveled up! I leveled up! Thereafter really is. The artifact. If that's the case, we have more problems than worms in our head. Don't know why I didn't say that. How come I'm the only one that leveled up? Oh, it's because I was the only one in the party when I locked, unlocked that door? That's rude. Well, hey, level four for me. Uh, let's see. We get... Slow fall. Ooh, really? When you fall, you use your action to gain resistance fall damage. Nice. Additional key point. New feet. Hey, a feet. Holy shit. 
No stack gain though? No stack gain? Really? Wait. Ability. We need to spend a feat to get, well, two ability points apparently. Uh, but okay, up to a maximum of twenty. Interesting. I'm not gonna do that. Um, charisma increases by one to a maximum of twenty. Your performance. Okay, I just gotta go through these. You get okay. You do get a bunch of stats though whenever you choose a, a trade or something. It seems like. Crossbow expert. Pool. Sense of duelist. That one's kind of common sense. Use two hand. Dual wielding. I'll probably get that for Lazelle at some point. You gain one additional armor class. Okay, never mind. Is that it? Right. Is, is that really it? That's not that good. Uh... Perception. Perception's good. Durable. You get one constitution. And you regain HP each time you take a short rest. Oh, regain full HP. That's actually pretty good. Elemental, elemental add that ignore resistance to a damage type of your choice. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, so if you're, like, focusing on, like, fire or lightning, you can take this, huh? That's cool. Uh, great weapon master. You land a critical hit or kill target with a melee weapon. You're next in a bonus action. Okay, heavy armor. I can't even select it. That kind of sucks. But this gives us strength or dexterity and some proficiencies. There's not that many. There really is not that many uh, beats, huh? Gain three luck points. And use them to gain advantages. Mage Slayer. Saving throw. Attack caster. Break concentration. And this allows you to get cantrips for your spells uh well if i guess it could, uh, yeah i guess it it's not that good <laughs> it's really not you get, i guess the cantrips maybe i don't know uh martial adepts you learn two maneuvers from the battle master subclass okay mobile uh your movement speed increases Marbly Armored, get one for each of those, and some of this. That's really good. Sorry, my brain just cut up to me. I was like, didn't I see something about initiative earlier at the top? Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, I don't know if I'll be taking that anytime soon. Whole Arm Master, Resilient. Ritual Caster, you learn two ritual spells of your choice. Oh, speak with that. That's kind of cool. Oh, find familiar. So you can animal. I mean, I was just talking about that. Savage attacker. When making melee weapon attacks, you roll damage twice and you get the highest results. Sentinel. Okay, that's not too bad. Sharpshooter. Your range weapon does not receive penalties from the high ground rules. All right, cool. Range weapon attack with your weapons you are proficient with. Have a minus... Five to their penalty roll, but deal additional ten damage. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that that's interesting. That could probably go good if you have the n enough setup, but still, that's a huge penalty. Shield master. Uh, proficient in three skills. Okay. Spell sniper. Learn a cantrip. And the number you need to roll a critical hit will be reduced by one. And <laughs> holy shit! Wait, really? Can I? Jesus! Could I not give that for like the Eldric uh, blast? Tavern brawler. Uh, when you make an unarmed attack, you use imp improvised weapon or throw something. Your strength modifier is added twice to the damage. That's really good. And you get a stat. Tough. Your HP increases by two for every level you've gained. Top, uh, it's toughness. Warcaster. Okay, it's maintain concentration. Weapons Master. And a stat point and a proficiency in something. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> 
What is my state? My, my, is it just plus one? Okay, so it's plus one for now. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I won't. So if I take this. I mean, I wouldn't get a bonus anyways, because I would need two points into strength or, yeah, into strength to get, like, the next batch, right? But I would still get a plus two to my unarmed attack, yeah? I can re-roll, so let's not worry too much about it. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> So, it's 4 to 11, 4 to 9. Did you not say it added 2 to my thing? I got a pretty high movement speed. Harlax, stop dancing around. <sighs> am I am I going insane in the membrane? Insane in the brain? Maybe it doesn't show it there, or maybe it shows on here? No, it does not show on there. Yeah, if I equip that, this will be stronger. Yeah. Which it shouldn't be. God dang it. All right. Fine. That's it for this episode. Next time, we'll probably find the druid. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. Bye.